is gonna look at me like what type of wingman is she she gonna look at me like that was just dj chose i really think that was just dj chose he just said that i was like oh what's up trinity travis trinity with you guys welcome back to my channel honey today we are doing a mukbang this is some steamed shrimp that i have um and some butter sauce that i made it's a little bit of bee love sauce in here mixed with a little bit of homemade garlic butter sauce that i made but i am starving i haven't eaten all day it's about to be damn near it's about to be four o'clock it's 3 55 and i am so hungry i ain't even smoke i am just so hungry um, on the side, I also have some cocktail sauce, some Tabasco sauce, some napkins, this for my shells, and some water. So, if you don't have nothing to eat, go ahead and grab something and join me, because we are about to go ahead and get into some things. As you can see by the title of the video, though, I'm going to be doing a story time um about me meeting a celebrity or whatever like that whatever 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 um so i'm gonna jump right into that i'm gonna say my prayers off camera and then we can just dive right in amen this is steaming hot i'm gonna upload the video of how it looks up close because i know you really can't see it like this um and it's giving what it needs to give it look very good so let me just dive into it a little bit mm before I start talking. Sometimes I eat the shell, sometimes I don't. Y'all always be coming for me when I do eat the shell, so I'm gonna try to peel it for y'all. But I am hungry though. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing good today. I'm doing good. Lately, I have been feeling super, super unmotivated, which is not like myself. So I really don't like that at all. I haven't been wanting to film no videos, upload nothing, edit nothing, nothing. I don't know why. But today, I have, um, I filmed like three videos. I did a Sheen haul, so be on the lookout for that. I did another video and then this one. Oh no i did a reaction video this one so i did four videos today including this one so shout out to me serenity is not here she is with somebody right now so i am really enjoying this this is completely peaceful i can eat in peace Y'all know I love my puppy. Y'all know I love my baby. But I really do be just needing some space sometimes. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm. So, I am so excited that we have hit over a thousand subscribers on here that is a complete milestone for me um i'm really happy about it it did take a while but usually it do it took two years <laughs> sad um but i really do feel like if i was more consistent and i was really like grinding 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 like how other youtubers do which shout out to them it's hard being like a full-time content creator you know so shout out to them but yeah damn what was i saying i don't know but i filmed a lot of videos today oh yeah that's what i was gonna say i was doing like a haul and so i was filming the haul and then on the side of the haul i had my phone set up on tiktok so i could show like a tiktok haul that was like a lot of work like i need to come up with a better system because i was filming changing clothes then going over pressing that button i was like lord i am tired so after this i'm definitely gonna kick back and smoke before i look at any other content and harshly judge myself because i always do but yeah i'm gonna kick back and smoke and watch my show y'all i have really been into the circle on netflix it's called the circle it is so good i love it so much it's it's an acquired taste but it's good 
Mmm. I might eat the shells on these because this is so good. Mmm. Sorry in advance for any smacking. But yes, y'all, thank you so much for constantly helping my channel to grow. Thank you to those who use in my Gold Press account. Thank you to those who shout, not shout me out, but reach out to me about videos they see in the mind. I love it. I'll be down to answer any of y'all questions. I love it. So, I'm really happy about that. I really appreciate y'all so much. Come on, tribe. We are growing. We are growing. I would like to see it. But yeah, I'm going to jump into the story time after a couple of my bites. I hope my eyelashes don't look funny on her. You know they always do. It's a bad angle, I guess, or something. I don't know. This is good. This is good. This is actually so good. Random thought. I have been lately stepping over to the male side much more. And you know what? I really just do not like when dudes act like females. Like, I might as well talk to a girl for all of this emotion and crying. Like, ugh. Mm-mm. Sometimes the D just don't be enough for all the bull you got to deal with. Random thought. Got a couple things on my mind. But anyway, I'm about to jump into the story time and tell y'all. Because baby, I met a celebrity and he was on me. He was on me. He was on me. Y'all see this? I've been trying to get on my water intake. Listen, because I want that clear skin. Stuff always be getting caught in my braces. So, y'all. Why I sat there and met a celebrity? Well, kind of a celebrity. I don't know. So, um, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on my other social medias, I posted on there. I did just come back from... Um, I was finna say Detroit, but it's not Detroit. Denver, Colorado. It was lit. It was lit. I had a great time. I will say, I don't know if we went to the right dispensaries, but it wasn't really giving that gas, gas, gas like it's supposed to give. Mm-hmm. It was giving me more like um like a body high. Not more so, you know, like damn I'm straight stones. Like no. It was not giving that. But it was okay, nonetheless I had a great time. So I went with my ex. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. We had a ball. So we stood in downtown Denver. It was a good area too. Right there off of 16th Street. If you're from Denver, you know what I'm talking about. If you visited, you probably know. It's downtown Denver where all the malls and restaurants and strips are. It's a beautiful strip on 16th Street, by the way. We was all up and down that strip. So we stayed right there. I don't know where we was coming from. But we was just getting back into the hotel. The hotel was big. It has two different parts on two different sides of the street. So, we were on the opposite side. So, a lot of times when we were parking a car in the garage, we had to take a country mile, you know, walking, going up elevators to get to our side. Either way, we were in the parking garage. And it was dark. All I'm doing is sitting here talking to my ex. We laugh. 
excuse me, I don't know what we was talking about. I think we was laughing or something. But I just so happened to look over and I see this dark skinned dude, kind of short. I think he had like two, three other people with them. But he was dark skinned with a little bitty cut, um, like a little bitty mini fro. And he had on this silver jacket, like a very silver jacket. And I look over and we kind of locked eyes, me and him. And so I don't know whether I just started smiling or laughing or whatever the case may be. Him and only one of the other dudes came right up to the car. So me and my ex not together. So it is not foreign that I would just start, you know, conversating with him. Um, she was a little bit upset, but even that's confusing because she wasn't upset about nothing else anyway. Because, you know, people try to talk to me or whatever the case may be, whatever. She wasn't upset about that, but she was upset about this, though. But that's because I think she realized him right off the bat. Now, again, we done locked eyes. Him and one of his other buddies then came over to the court. So we kind of pretty much talking. He like, what y'all doing here or whatever like that. I'm answering a question like, are we just there for a couple days or whatever. I'm not knowing who it is. I do know that he had a bunch of chains on. But I think I was already drunk or something. So it wasn't really phasing me. And so... You know me, and if you don't know me, I wasn't being thirsty at all. I never try to be thirsty, even if the dude is so fine. And in my heart, I'm like, oh my God, I really want you. Like, let's do this or whatever, whatever. I don't be trying to show it. But that wasn't the case here. I wasn't really kind of too flattered or pleased or whatever. So either way, I'm just talking like, oh, okay, yeah, we heard or whatever like that. Then I look past him and go start talking to his homeboy. Next thing I know... He just starts walking away like, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. Like, you could talk to her or whatever like that. I wasn't bothered, but he started walking away. It, 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 it was kind of blurry, but I think his homeboy was like, uh, I remember him saying, yeah, we on the sixth floor. Come fuck with us or whatever like that. We off the sixth floor. That's DJ Cho's right there. And it really didn't click to me. I kind of dismissed him too. And just was like, oh, okay, um, yeah, all right, or whatever like this. So he started walking away. When he walked away, my ex going to look at me like, what type of wingman is she? She going to look at me like, that was just DJ Chose. I really think that was just DJ Chose. He just said that. I was like, oh. <laughs> because I didn't really know who it was, you know. And I'm like, who was that? But the one song that I know that's even anything a DJ chose is What's Up, Bree? What's Up, Keith? What's Up, Lisa? Y'all know that song. And I think it was like DJ chose or something like that. Or Megan Thee Stallion got a song with him or something. I know I just heard this, that name DJ chose. So I'm like, oh my God, what? And she's like, yeah, that was just DJ chose. Trying to act like she was not excited. She wasn't really. So we pull up his Instagram and lo and behold, that's him. And he posted a picture of him down in Denver at this that's how I knew it was him. Cause it's posted he posted a picture like either the day before that day or the day before that, whatever it was. The time frame was like, oh yeah, he's in Denver, that's him. It was him. And I just felt so stupid because he got mad, I think. Because I wasn't showing him probably what he's used to. I'm not sure if he's used to women just like all over him and stuff. But I wasn't really giving that. And so I think he got mad or something. And that's when he walked away. And I just was really like, oh my God, let's go to the sixth floor. Let's go to the fucking sixth floor. She said I couldn't go because she said it was going to be disrespectful. I really could have did whatever I wanted to. But I just didn't want no drama. Uh, but damn, I need to stop playing so much. I need to stop trying to play hard to get all of this and all of that. And I could have just really been... I don't know. But I met a celebrity and I could have been talking to him. But... Uh, he ain't my type for real. He ain't my type. He is not my type. And I think that's why I wasn't really drawn to him. And really, that silver jacket, it really threw me off. It was so cheesy that I was like, mm mm. I was blinded by the jacket more so than a bling. But yes, that's the story time. I met DJ Chose. He tried to talk to me, and I didn't talk to him. So yeah, that's the story time on that. <laughs> I'm so dirty, but I wanted to tell y'all that because I was like, oh my God. You know, whatever. Let's get back into these shrimp. But yeah, that's what happened. Do y'all think I missed out? What if I would have started talking to DJ Chaz? 
and been traveling and meeting everybody and everybody. What if? I would like to see it. He wasn't thirsty or nothing. I'm not saying that, but. He did get mad. When I didn't know it was him, he got mad. Mm-hmm. Which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. I ain't gonna go too much more into that. <clears throat> this shrimp is good. It's good. I'm just getting caught in my teeth, but it's good. My butter sauce is good. Mm. I'm in bliss. But yes. I just want to bring this up real quick. Because it just happened. And I know a lot of y'all probably seen what happened. Did y'all see what happened between the City Girls and the Claremont Twins? It just happened yesterday. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm obviously Team City Girls. And I love me some young Miami. I, I kid you not. She really do seem like she is about the action in real life. Like, she will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I love it. So, what happened was... They were... Ooh! As a matter of fact... It's already out. It's 4 o'clock. Yesterday, they released, like, a promo video of something that they got coming up. I don't know if it's the video of the twerkulator or what. But... They released a promo video, which it was very cute. Her and JT. I guess in the promo video, they was doing a couple of things that the Claremont twins did. Like some poses or something. And so, the twins start popping off. Pretty much like people copying us. Bitches want to be fashion so bad. I don't know what a mood board is. If you know what a mood board is, put that in the comments down below. But... Apparently, they were saying bitches is copying our mood board. I don't know what it was, but I did go to the the twins page and see what they was talking about. What pose? I seen it, and I'm like, okay, so I'm like y'all did not create that pose. Y'all didn't create anything, actually. And if you want to know the truth, y'all getting all this surgery and all of this and all of that trying to look like somebody else so do we really want to talk about the duplicating and the imitating let's not do it carisha came right on back i guess the fans had sent her the tweets because you know they ain't at the city girls of course they didn't but they was throwing shots somebody must have sent it to young miami miami caught it right on out mm -mm. let me see what she said because i was like i'm stealing it she said, what? She said, let me hear. Y'all know I'm finna go to Shay Room. What she say? I hope they're not still going. Oh, it is for the Turculator. I did just see a snippet. Let me find it when the girls was going at it. Claire, my twins just was like, they hate, then they copy. And then it's the mood board for me. What? Somebody said, Shannon, you being weird. The city girls like and support the both of you. And Shannon said, I love Carisha. So for one, making it seem like she got an issue with JT. I can't even tell the damn twins apart. So I don't even know who is who or what is what. But apparently they only like Young Miami. And uh, Young Miami responded like, it wasn't on our mood board, but I did tell JT, let's try the pose. I thought it was cute. What's the problem? Right. So she came right back at him. And then she kept going. She said, I actually love both of y'all and openly support y'all. Nobody discrediting y'all. I'm not with the shady shit. Let's not go there. Period. Like, what is with all of this uh, subliminal tweets, baby? At them, if that's how you feel. So then JT jumped in and pretty much things were said back and forth. But what caught my attention was um, when young Miami said, so let's not go there. One of the twins said, it's love over here too, but LOL, let's not go there. Cause what? 
Young Miami said, you let me know. I address the room. It's whatever. Listen, when she said that, I was like, bitch, yes. And you know when her and Jocelyn got into it, she be with the action. It seemed like she really be wanting, like, pull up. Because we can do that. I love that. I love how people just don't change how they was. Because if the twins want the smoke, please, city girls, give them the smoke. But yeah, I really wish it personally wasn't no drama. But since it is, and I do fuck with the city girls, that's the side I'm on. That is just ridiculous. It's always some drama though. But like I was saying, their promo video obviously was for the twerculator. I'm seeing that now. Yep, I'm seeing that. Damn, I'm not even hungry like that no more. Mm-mm. But yeah. Mm. I'm probably gonna smoke and try to come back to this. Mmm. I didn't even take no thumbnail. But we'll get something in there. I don't know. It'll get it. I'm going to screenshot something. I don't know. So, Tribe, that concludes the video. I'm full for now. I'm probably going to go so I can get hungry and finish my shrimp. Because I really wanted these. But you know how when you cook something and all of this and all of that, you don't even be hungry after the whole thing. But whatever, yeah. But yes, don't forget, never forget, how could you even forget, honey, lit things come in threes, but you knew that though.